what is up everyone so the new cod is out i've been no lifing it i have a pretty good idea about what my personal favorite maps are so i figured it was the best time to do a map tier list if you guys want to see more cod content from me make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like on the video at first we got fortress and i know there are some words before fortress but i don't want to butcher any of these so i'm gonna just be saying it how uh we all know how to say it i like fortress because a lot of maps i feel like you can't really run through the middle but fortress does a good job of balancing like you can play in the middle but you can also play around the edges oh that's tough some of the headquarters spawns are kind of annoying sometimes but i, mean, I feel like fortress is pretty good and what's kind of interesting about call of duty is i feel like all the maps are like pretty good there's definitely some standout ones that are bad and some standout ones that are good uh but for the most part i feel like all the maps are pretty good i think level cap said it best he said something like he feels like the game was created by ai where they just know what people want and they just just do it where it's not really playing it safe but they just overall did a good job so i kind of feel like that too hotel ah uh, i don't like this map as much i put hotel in mid it's just annoying. People always camp up in the bedroom. People always camp behind the bar. You can run around and get away with it. Uh, yeah, I'd put that in mid, I think. I, I do like Fortress more. Uh, let's see, so Museum is next. Museum's not actually out yet, uh, but it was in the beta. This is one of those maps where you really can't even play in the middle at all. Like generally running through the middle is suicide. You have to, you're kind of forced to just play on the outskirts. It looks nice though. Kind of, actually, you know what? I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put Hotel Decent and I'm, I'm going to put Museum Mid. I'm kind of tempted to put it bad. All right. Hydroelectric is next. This is the map. You can like swim in underwater tunnels and there's like all sorts of flanks on the outside, which are pretty creative. Definitely one of the more unique COD maps. I play Headquarters on it a few times and uh, even the Headquarters spawns are not bad. Is it better than Hotel? Hmm. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. See, Seraph Bay is next. Seraph Bay, this is like a ground war slash invasion 32 versus 32 map only. And out of all of the invasion and ground war maps, honestly, they're all, they all feel almost identical to me. They're just huge maps. What's actually really cool about the ground war maps is no matter what playstyle you have, I feel like you can kind of get away with. If you want to run around with the SMG, there's parts of the map that they do a really good job designing for that. If you want to just camp a random tower and snipe, you can do that too. All the ground war maps, I feel like they're like almost in between decent and pretty good. There's no really standouts for me in ground war. Saeed, this would be pretty much the same thing. Just another 32 versus 32 map. Feels decent. There's nothing bad about it, but what you expect is pretty much what you get with like a 32 versus 32 COD map. Let's see. Up next, we got Crown Raceway. Um not to be confused with the highway map all right not to be confused a uh, different car map this one actually is probably my least favorite map um in the game so far it just feels like three straight long lanes but somehow there's constantly somebody behind you maybe my map awareness is just terrible yeah i feel like there's really nothing unique about this at all it's it's just kind of boring i feel like you Constantly just spawn in the back, run forward, spawn in the back, run forward. But again, these are all just my personal preference. All right. All right. All right. So this is the one I'm probably going to get some hate for. Um, this is border crossing. Now, this is the map where you pull up at the border and it's just traffic jams of cars. All right. Now, hear me out on this. I spoke to a few different friends and pretty much all of them said that this map was their least favorite map. But what I got to say is it is so nice to be able to just spawn and kind of focus on what's in front of you and push without having to constantly worry about people running behind you and like all that stuff so it is it's just such a different tone for call of duty it almost feels like a different like game mode in itself now it's not a perfect map right some of the things that are absolutely teeth grinding is the random car explosions like i swear i'll be standing by a car that's exploded like three times already and it'll explode again just because i'm by it and i'll die that's really irritating it's also really frustrating to spawn like all the way in the back just to run up like 10 feet and die from somebody looking through like two pixels in between a car window but honestly it just gives them it just gives cod a different feel i kind of love it low key yeah definitely not going to be a popular opinion so don't hate me too much all right next l asilo 
Asilo. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. This is the map kind of what is it kind of like a barn type warehouse building in the center i don't know i have, I have a good time on this map i again i like that you can either play with like the focal point of the warehouse or you can play on the outskirts um it's overall just a fun map plus i'm a little bit biased because i had like one of the funniest enemies that i've ever seen when i played this map last time to the point where him and his like duo were pretty much alt walking or crouch walking around the warehouse and that's all they would do i felt like they were trying to play like escape from tarkov it was just it was really funny um but yeah i've just had a lot of good times on this map so i'm putting it in pretty good embassy i feel like embassy it's uh this one feels like a pretty standard cod map there's really nothing like that special about it definitely a little bit closer quarters um combat because your people are constantly running around the building yeah it's pretty good i feel like this this is a pretty uh play it safe map i don't i don't know like it gets good but it's not bad you know it's, it's kind of mid farm 18 kind of another one where they kind of played it a little bit safe you know there's always those people that are just camping in the building or rooftop um but if you want air to be absolute chaos you can just run in the middle with the smg or shotgun so it's fun um you can really like play at your own pace on this map. Actually, this map's not bad. Maybe I'd put it in pretty good even. Yeah, I don't like honestly, everything between the mid and pretty good. I feel like there's such thin margins. Like they kind of all intertwined with each other. There's not much setting them apart. Okay, now Mercado Las Almas is the next map. I kind of hate this map. It's you pretty much just run straight up the middle and die. Most people don't do it, but you're kind of forced to cross it every once in a while. Yeah, no, I don't know. I just, I don't have a good time on this map. I feel like if you do camp, there's not that much traffic. You're kind of just forced into really bad positions over and over again. There's always somebody mounted with a sniper or something just sitting and down the lane. It's, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, not a fan of that map. All right, then last but not least. Tarak. Now, this is one of the maps where it's in core, but it's also in ground war, where they take a section of the map um, and just expand it. And they do the same thing with uh, border crossing, too, for ground war. This map is actually really fun, I think. And I, I need like an in between S tier and pretty good. Maybe I'll do that. You know what I'll do? I think I should do this. That makes the most sense. I like to rock because even though the middle is kind of outskirts, you really strategically can make flanks and pushes depending on where you are to get closer to the center. There's definitely sections that are open that you that's just suicide to run across. The way the buildings are designed, there's just so much movement that you can do. And there's actually like a lot of really cool like parkour you can do from building to building. I, I like this map a lot. Um, this is definitely one of the standout ones for ground war and uh, invasion also. But yeah, definitely going to get some hate for this one because uh, the majority of the people that I talked about uh, or that I talked to, this was uh, their least favorite map. And there's definitely annoyances with it, but it's just uh, it's too different. It's too goaded to uh, not put it in this spot. But yeah, that's it for my COD Modern Warfare 2 map tier list. I'm really hoping that they bring out some maybe some remakes in the future. Um, we'll see. There's definitely some goaded maps that they could definitely bring back, but we'll see what happens. That's going to be it for today. Peace.